Working from home was the new normal back in the month of March for all working professionals including me but now it is becoming more and more common by learning to be effective and efficient in my 10 to 7 life i followed some of the simple tips to structure my work from home routine the first and the most important tip is to have a separate workplace it does not necessarily have to be a huge space or a whole room but it does have to be a distraction free and a comfortable space many times you have to stay up late for client calls and stress the day to meet the deadlines so a dedicated work desk and a comfortable setting will let you maintain a better back and neck posture for long sitting hours take a few minutes every morning or at the end of the day to tidy up your desk a cluttered desk kills your productivity a work desk is simply a place for you to work and a clean and tidy desk helps you focus and work effectively so don't use the desk as storage and keep everyday essentials handy like a planner and pen water bottle to stay hydrated your headset or anything that is necessary i like to keep my desk very minimal keep the workspace very simple clean and inviting entering your workspace should turn you on and energize you for the great start of the day add anything that cheers you up it can be anything you like in my case is the plants it might seem like a simple tip but is very important you do not have to wear formal attire head to toe but comfortable clothes except your sleepwear or anything that can make you feel lazy a simple act of changing clothes serves as a signal for your brain to get into work mode when i am well dressed i feel more active and do not like moving to the couch or bed all days can get productive and you need just a bit of planning plan your day in advance start off on same time and having a structure of the day helps you get more work done answering emails attending meetings client calls and finishing up that campaign you might feel everything is a priority i start my day by checking my google calendar to quickly check the scheduled task and meeting that i have for the day i assess my to do's and change the priority if needed in the morning hours i feel i am more focused and energetic and hence i tackle the tasks that need more brain power then i get into doing routine tasks Planning your day is one thing and following it is another. But if your mornings are sane, you'll be able to make it a productive day or rather say a good day. As now the commute time is zero, you have more time for your morning routine. Create a mini workable morning routine that you can stick to and build it up gradually. It might be a mix of your workout, your home course, breakfast and me time. The morning routine puts you in the right mindset and sets your pace for the entire day and you can seamlessly transition into your work mode. There is a natural tendency to start late and starting late means to finish late. Make sure you start and end each work day at around the usual time. Compromising the working hours or the break time is a big no-no. Utilizing the break time is as important as working so you can come back and start fresh. Set boundaries for your family time and household task. Time the phone calls, digital distractions or anything else you take up during the working breaks. Taking longer breaks will leave you guilty and no break at all can be stressful. And too much work beyond the time will not let your creative juices flow. So striking a balance is the key. and make sure you utilize the tea breaks by socializing with colleagues and friends and do some quick stretches to boost your energy levels break up the monotony of formal meetings and connect with your colleagues for a casual talk or a coffee chat on a video call share your whereabouts know what they are up to and never lose that engagement just because you're working from home do not remain seated for longer hours do some 5 minute stretches or a quick walk in your foyer or garden Tune in to some inspiration, listen to podcast or audio books. The whole idea is to relax. A happy mindset can help you do quality work and keep you more focused. 
perhaps the last and the most important tip to follow is to plan your next day before you call it a day. Review your work at the end of the day and plan your priorities for the next day. Firstly, set reminders, block your calendar for non-negotiable and super critical time-bound tasks, allocate time slots for the routine task as well. That's how you will know if you have any extra time on your hands. Immediately block it for new projects, campaign or your research. Put everything back in its place and organize your desk. Do a quick 5 minutes review when you start your day and modify it if there is any update in the schedule. And don't forget to be grateful for the opportunity to work from home and all the benefits you could not get otherwise like a hot and fresh lunch, self-made coffee and freedom to do the work as you want. That in itself is indeed pretty awesome.